Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about the differences between two important nucleic acids that is the deoxyribonucleic acid, the DNA and the ribonucleic acid, the RNA. So the learning objectives will be to state and explain the differences between DNA and RNA. The differences are self-explanatory from this figure. So the DNA is double helical, double stranded and RNA is single stranded but helical. The difference in bases adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine present in DNA whereas in RNA adenine, guanine, cytosine are same but in place of thymine uracil is present. But how are these structures defining the functions? So let us see in more detail the differences. So DNA, the location of the DNA is inside the chromosomes in the nucleus. The location of RNA is mainly in the cytoplasm. It is the mRNA which is found sometimes in the nucleus. Now DNA is double stranded, helical structure. RNA is single stranded but helical structure. In the DNA, the average number of nucleotides is more. And that is the reason it has a comparatively higher molecular weight than RNA. So the average number of nucleotides is around 4.3 million. Whereas in RNA, it is around some 10,000 to 12,000 nucleotides. Now, in case of DNA, the pentose sugar which is present is 2 prime deoxyribose. Whereas in RNA, the pentose sugar is ribose. And these sugars are reason for their respective names deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid now nitrogen is bases we've already learned the differences this has adenine thymine guanine and cytosine this has adenine uracil guanine and cytosine now base pairing since rna is single stranded do you think it must have a base pairing absolutely not it does not have a base pairing when it is formed from the dna then some complementary pairing occurs otherwise it does not have a base pairing for our for dna the base pairing is adenine pairs with thymine by two hydrogen bonds guanine pairs with cytosine by three hydrogen bonds now function the function of dna is to perform genetic functions control traits control your length, your height, your weight, eye color, skin color, everything that is the traits are controlled by the DNA. <laughs> now RNA, we have learned that RNA is very important. Why? Because the message for the traits is present in DNA, but the expression hap cannot happen without RNA. So RNA is used in synthesis of proteins. Now RNA now DNA, it can self-replicate, which means one DNA can make its copies, further make its copies. But this property not present in RNA. It cannot self-replicate. Now DNA, since it is double-stranded, double-helical, it is comparatively stabler. So it is long-lived, whereas RNA is less stable. So when we compare stability of DNA and RNA, RNA is less stable. This stability is very less stability is very important also. Why? Because we do not want the same information to stay inside the cell for longer time, right? We want that that information uh, deplenishes itself and then when we need that information again, that is when we need that protein synthesis again, again the RNA is formed. So that is the reason the RNA is not so stable and is a short-lived component. Now there are two types of, uh, there are three types of RNA, right? mRNA, tRNA and RNA. Do, have you studied some different types of DNA? Right, we have studied the A, Z and B DNA and uh, C DNA. But those DNAs were specifically formed under certain conditions. RNA is usually of three types. But DNA is of different types under different conditions. In our body or normally, the most stable form of DNA is B DNA. So this was all about the differences. But we must not forget the similarities. So here are the similarities. Both are formed inside the nucleus only. So this is a similarity. And the three nitrogenous bases, that is adenine, guanine and cytosine, are common in both of them. So this was all about the differences in the major nucleic acids, the DNA and the RNA. And these differences are very important to know their functions. This was all about the nucleic acids. 
Now, from further videos, we will start another important biomacromolecule that is the lipids. Till then, thank you very much. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.